This has been a controversial topic lately, with Crix, the engineer behind the EverDrive series, under a fair bit of pressure from his followers. Can a bootleg, reproduction, or flash cart damage a console? To answer that question, we need to learn what exactly puts the console at risk. We need to learn about the diode. The diode is a simple device with only two pins, the anode and the cathode. Its function is to allow current to flow in only one direction, from the anode to the cathode. All diodes have what is known as a forward voltage, which is the threshold needed to let current flow through the device. Below this threshold, the device is completely invisible to the circuit. For an average silicon diode, this is 0.6 volts. Here's an example. Here we have 5 volts on the anode and 0 volts on the cathode. In this scenario, the diode is conducting and allowing full current to flow through it. Here we have 3 volts on the anode and 5 volts on the cathode. This is a negative 2 volt difference between the anode and cathode, and the diode is not conducting. It's open circuit. This scenario best describes the Game Boy, with 5 volts on the anode and 3.3 volts on the cathode. In this scenario, full current will flow. This is an example of 5 volts into a 3.3 volt circuit. This will have two effects. It'll either push 3.3 volts up, or bring 5 volts down. Pulling the 5 volts down is a risk to the console. There is only so much current a port driver can supply before it is damaged permanently. And in this scenario, a flash cart can cause damage to your console. However, we need to consider the 3.3 volt supply for the logic. Almost all bootleg carts don't use a 3.3 volt regulator. They power the 3.3 volt flash directly from the 5 volt supply. This means there is no longer 3.3 volts here, it is 5 volts. Because the anode voltage is not 0.6 volts higher than the cathode voltage, they're the same, there is no current flowing into the device. With the Chinese bootleg cart running at 5 volts, there's no way excessive current can flow into the input pins of the address, data or control lines. The only risk is to the flash chip itself running at higher than its rated voltage. I should explain why these diodes are here at all. These diodes safely route any high voltage spikes to ground or VCC, protecting the input circuitry within the chip itself. One clever trick the Chinese use is to add a diode in line with the supply. This drops the 5 volts down to 4.4 volts, which is just within the safe operating area of the flash chip. Powering the flash in 4.4 volts means a 5 volt input will not conduct this diode and no current will flow into the supply. This same technique is used in Nintendo, Sega and pretty much all bootleg carts from China. They'll either emit the diode completely and power the flash in 5 volts, or they will include it to reduce the power to the flash so it can be reprogrammed in system. This particular cart can't be reprogrammed in system and the flash is programmed beforehand and then soldered in place. And what about flash carts? Many will have 3.3 volt regulators as well as level translators, so there is zero risk to the system. Some early models don't include this. This was common with the early EverDrives as well as my El Cheapo carts. On these carts, we both use 3.3 volt regulators to power the CPLD as well as the SD card, as the SD card will not tolerate 5 volts. The rest of the circuit is powered from the 5 volts through a dropping diode. This satisfies both the current and voltage requirements of the CPLD, the SD card, does not exceed the max operating voltage of both the SRAM or the flash, and allows no excessive current to flow onto any of the input pins. So, can a cheap bootleg Chinese cart put your console at risk? The answer is no. SD-based flash carts have the potential to put your system at risk if they are designed incorrectly. I can't speak for the EverDrive, but it's common practice to mix 3.3 and 5 volt logic together. As long as it's done correctly and safely, there is no risk to the console. As a quick test, we'll check the current going into the input pins from a 5 volt supply. So we'll take 5 volts from the system 5 volt point into any one of the input pins. And there is no current flowing. Just to prove the multimeter is connected, here's a short to the supply. And I've killed the Game Boy. 
It may seem like there's risk, but if you know how the circuit works and why it was designed this way, you'll see that there is no risk to the console with bootleg Chinese cartridges. Flash cuts are the exception. If they weren't designed correctly, you can shunt voltage straight from the address lines into the SD card, which is bad for both the SD and the console. But as far as I know, no designers do this. I hope this clears up some confusion. Thanks.